Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another live broadcast here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Dr. Mike Prince here with you, and we are live from Waller High School, beautiful city limits of Waller, Texas. Tonight's contest, the Waller Bulldogs will be hosting the Willis Wildcats. The Bulldogs had a rough time their last time out, losing by the score of 6-0 to Magnolia. I'm sorry, not Magnolia, but Tomball Memorial. And the Bulldogs, with that record, has fallen to 2-4 and four in conference play. So the Bulldogs will get a chance to try and start things awry on this evening to get ready for tonight's contest. The Bulldogs, as we mentioned, facing off against Willis. Willis coming in with a 3-3 three and three conference record. So they'll be ready to take on the Bulldogs. The starting lineups will be as such leading off for the Wildcats will be number three, Mr. Austin Paskey. He'll be playing center field. Number two, JoJo Matthews. JoJo Matthews will be in left field. Then you have Jace Garrison will be in right field. So ready to go up now will be Mr. Austin Paskey. He'll be going up against today's starting pitcher, Mr. Corbin Vines. You have Corbin Vines starting on the mound. You have his batter being Mr. Geigley, Wes Geigley. And the first pitch offered up from Vines will be a ball. So we're just getting started here. One ball, no strikes. Nobody out here in the top half of the first inning. Bulldogs and the Wildcats. One no pitch. That ball hit toward the left side deep in the hole to Levy. And Levy is able to retire Mr. Austin on the 6-3 put out. And that will lead us up to the left fielder, JoJo Matthews. So 6-3 on the first out. JoJo Matthews coming in. He's batting from the left-hand side as he will face off against Mr. Corbin Vine. Vine normally playing shortstop, but at pitching the day, that ball is going to be hit straight up in the air toward center field. Fullpen is able to put that right in the basket. And we got quickly two outs here in the top half of this first inning. Just getting on the way if you joined us. Bulldog baseball right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network is going to now bring up Mr. Jace Harris Garrison. He's in the right field tonight. As a matter of fact, ran into his grandpa on the way here. His first pitch is a strike on the outside corner. 0-1 is the count. We got two outs here in the top half of the first inning. Bynes pitching from the windup, set, delivers, and misses with that one ball and one strike. 1-1 one one is the count. No score. Top of the first inning. Bulldog baseball right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bynes set ready to deliver the guy to the pitch. It's going to be swung on and hit toward right center field, but able to handle that with ease will be Mr. Pulpin. And just like that, three up, three down for the Wildcats. No runs, no hits, no errors, and nobody left on base. We're going to the bottom of the first. No score. I'm in almost every school bus in class. I go to school with your children. We say the pet of a leader together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is called with a new thing. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me. Quietly, the Royal Hunt. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Act And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to continue on with our bottom half of the first inning. Bulldogs and Phyllis Wildcats doing battle in this in three District 25A baseball contest. 
Bulldogs come in today in spot number five, if not mistaken, in the fifth slot behind these Wildcats. They're Wildcats number five, Bulldogs number six, I should say, with a two and four record. So they're trying to rectify that at least jump even with the Wildcats on this evening. Starting pitcher for the Wildcats will be number 15, Chris Burns. Burns, right-handed pitcher. He'll face off against the shortstop today, Mr. Randon Lavey. Lavey normally plays third base, but with the pitching of the Bulldogs, he's normally playing shortstop, but he'll be pitching tonight. Lavey is normally at third base. So with the little switcher rule, we'll get ready to start this contest. First pitch, if it offered up from Burns, will be a ball inside with the breaker. 0-1 is, I mean, sorry, 1-0 is the count. Willis Wildcats in a camouflage gray tops with the gray pants. The pitch offered up, that ball is going to be hit toward the middle, and that's going to fall down for a hit. That'll be a leadoff single for Lazy. So Levy with the leadoff single will set the table now for the pitcher, Mr. Corbin Vine. Vines batting from the right-hand side with an opportunity to help himself out this evening. Bulldogs trying to get out early here in front with the home field advantage. Burns checks the runner at first base. Come set. Now delivers. Bunch laid down beautifully. It's going to be retrieved by the pitcher who pumps. And they're going to say that the runner is going to be safe. That's actually going to be a base hit. The runner will advance to second base. The pitcher hesitated, wanted to go towards second base, but then when he realized and turned around, he didn't have a play. He had runners now at first and second for Bartlett. Bartlett wearing number 12, batting from the right-hand side. Burn set, checks. The bottom showed down again. That's going to be a ball. 1-0 is the count. No score, just getting on the way. Bottom half of the first inning. Bulldogs 2-4 and four on the season. Wildcats 3-3 three and three on the season. Burns comes set, delivers another bunt laid down, but that's going to be poked foul, and our count will go even in one ball and one strike. I want to remind you that you can follow us here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network on Twitter at OBN underscore radio. Instagram is OBN radio. Of course, the website is OBNradio.com. One one pitch off of the from Burns in route to Barlett. Barlett lays down another bunt, and this one goes foul, and it will go to one and two. On deck for the Bulldogs will be the right fielder at Marches. So Barlett will come in with a one-two count. Burns ready to make the delivery. Runners at first and second. Burns comes set, swinging away and missing on the strikeout. Will take care of Bartlett. Bartlett goes down, swing him. It's one out here in the bottom of the first inning. Corey Marches will now be the batter for the Bulldogs. Marches playing right field, batting from the right hand side. So Burns come in now, has one out to his credit. Come set, checks the runner at second base and taking a long pause and asking for timeout will be Marches. The catcher is Turner. Turner catches, but he does not get the hit, so he'll have a designated hitter for him. So he'll get out there for defensive purpose for the Wildcats. Pitch off it up. There's a swing and a miss. Strike one off it up to Mr. Marches. 0-1 is the count. No score. Bottom half of the first inning. Bulldogs and the Wildcats getting together here in district play. Burns coming set, checks the runner at second base. Now delivers toward home, and another off-speed pitch as marches out in front, 
And it is quickly 0-2 now to marchers with runners at first and second. Two infield singles will uh, out a single toward right center and an infield hit. Have the Bulldogs on right now, trying to take advantage during the bottom half of the first. Burns with the 0-2 delivery will swing, and that ball is going to be hit toward third base. And they're going to say that the lead runner was out. So that will be a fielder's choice that will take care of Levy. So he will be out by five, and everybody's going to advance on the fielder's choice. And it's going to bring up now Wes Geigley. Wes Geigley, catcher for the Bulldogs, has been extremely hot for the Bulldogs. Two outs here in this bottom half of the first inning. Bulldogs with runners now at first and second. Well, actually, they're going to say Levy was safe. So we got bases loaded. And there's a strike call. First, it had indicated that Levy may have been out. They're going to say he was safe. So the first pitch from Burns to Geigley will be a strike one. One one is to count to Geigley, the pitch on the way from Burns. He comes set, kicks, fires, all speed, misses outside. One ball and one strike. One ball, one strike, one out. Geigley at the plate. Bases are loaded. Base hit. We break this thing for the Bulldogs early here in the first inning. Both the batter and the catcher playing cat and mouse. Stepping off the rubber does Mr. Burns. And stepping off the box is Geigley. They're ready to resume play. Burns comes set. Fires. There's a the ball hit up the middle toward the slow roller. And that will be a good play by the third baseman as Duralyn will take care of Geigley for the 5-3, but a run will come in for the Bulldogs. That will be one run for the Bulldogs. Curtis Fisher, the left-hander, the big bulky left uh, left fielder, I'm sorry, will be coming to the plate now as he will take a strike on the outside corner. Two outs. Here in the bottom half of the first inning, Bulldogs up 1-0. The pitch from Burns. Another swing and a miss off the all speed. Has Fisher out in front. And it is 0-2. Burns checking in with his catcher, Turner. Bulldogs trying to add to their 1-0 lead. The pitch to Fisher is outside. One ball. No strikes. Runners at second and third for the Bulldogs. One and two is the count, bottom of the first inning. Daughter Burns checks in with his catcher, Turner. Now he steps off the rubber, and they're ready to reconvene. Coming set, waiting a long time now, is Burns. Now he comes, and Fisher will step out of the box. Curtis Burns is today's starting pitcher, and he is very slow and deliberate, making up his mind right now. Now he comes set, delivers. There is a swing and a survival cut by Fisher to tap that one foul. He'll stay alive here with the 0-2 count. Woodall's got one run so far off of two hits. Two runners on at second and third here in the bottom of the first inning. Fisher steps back into the box, awaiting the delivery from Burns. Burns checks, comes set, now fires. There's a ball hit deep toward left center field, and it's going to be caught by the center field. A well hit ball, but an out. So the Bulldogs... They get one run off of two hits, no errors, and two runners left on base. We've completed one. The Bulldogs on top, one 
zero. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. In the last 30 years, childhood obesity in America has tripled. Today, one in three kids is already overweight or obese. This is registered dietitian Melissa Joy Dobbins for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. Good nutrition is key to fighting childhood obesity. These tips can help your child stay healthy. Recruit them to the kitchen. Preparing meals teaches kids about healthy foods like lean proteins, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and low-fat dairy. Make sure to get 60 minutes of physical activity every day. Make it a family activity. And avoid sugary or caffeinated beverages. Give kids water, low-fat milk, and 100% fruit juices. To keep your whole family healthy, see a registered dietitian and visit www.eatright.org. Encouraging you to eat right, I'm registered dietitian Melissa Joy Dobbins with the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're ready to start this top half of the second inning. Bulldogs on top by the score of 1-0. Leading off for a Wildcat will be Mr. Blake Pollock. He's a designated hitter. He hits for the catcher, Turner. And you have Trevor Summers and Mr. Chris Burns, tonight's starting pitcher. Bynes went three up, three down in inning number one as he has a 1-0 lead here in the top half of the second inning. First pitch off it up is going to be swing and swung on foul back out of play for strike one. 0-1 oh, is the count. 1-0 is our score, top of the second inning. Bulldogs with a 2-4 and four district play. The 0-1 oh, pitch swung on and missed. The all-speed pass. The batter, Mr. Pollock, way out in front. Finds with a big advantage right now. 0-2 oh, is the count. Through the designated hitter for the Wildcats. The pitch and delivery by... Lines. That's going to be a half-hearted swing, and that is going to retire Mr. Hollop here. That will be one out. So the second baseman, Summers, Trevor Summers, will come to the plate. He's wearing number 16, batting from the right-hand side. As we mentioned, the Wildcats in their camouflage grave with the gray pants. Pitch is going to be hit right back up to right center field. And that is going to be a one-out double, Summers. Summers delivers the first pitch to right center field. Now will bring up the pitcher, tonight's starting pitcher, Chris Burns. Burns wearing number 15, batting from the right-hand side. One out, runner at second base. Burns comes to the plate to try and help himself. Vines pitching from the stretch. Check, kicks, fires. All speed falls in for strike one. When one now the count to his counterpart, Chris Burns, giving up two hits and one run thus far. Vines comes set, the 0-1 delivered. There's a check swing. They're going to say he did go. 0-2 is the count. Vines. Working rather quickly as he's ready to deliver the 0-2 pitch to Chris Burns with one out. Comes set, delivers toward Guidley. There's the ball fought off, foul toward the right side out of play. The count will hold it 0-2. Just getting on the way here from Waller High School, baseball complex. Beautiful day. Bynes comes set, delivers a breaking, well, not breaking, but up and in with the fastball, misses one ball, two strike. Bynes comes set now, checks the runner at second. One, two delivery, that's another one inside. Bynes misses now. Two balls and two strikes. Two, two is the count, one out, runner at second base. Bulldogs on top, one, zero here in the top of the second inning. Bynes checking the runner at second. Comes toward home plate. There's a ball, foul back, and the count will hold at two and two. I need that you can listen to Open Mic Broadcast Network 24 hours, seven days a week through tuned in 
for the Open Mic Broadcast Network. If you're in the Purview City Limits, it's 87.9 FM. There is a slider missing outside, and we got a full count. Three balls and two strikes. Fine walking around like he thought he should have gotten that one. Comes back on top of the mound, ready to go to work. Thumb set now for the payoff pitch. The delivery. That ball is fought off, and the battle shall continue. Good job of hitting right now by the pitcher, Mr. Chris Burns. So Vines ready to make yet another payoff delivery here toward Chris Burns. He comes set, checking the runner at second. Now he delivers. That ball is going to be fought off yet again. The count will hold at three and two. There is one out here in the top of the second. Bulldogs on top, one zero. Hines coming set. The runner breaks the goal. That ball is going to be hit toward the right side. And guess what? Another foul. So now Hines will do it all over again. Checking in with Geigley. Ready for the pitch. Come set. The high kick. There's another foul tip. And this has been a quality at bat for Chris Burns. He's digging deeper and deeper into that pitch count. Anytime you can let that guy make him throw more than what he wants to, call a quality at bat. See if Hines can slam the door right now on this fourth payoff pitch. The pitch offered up. Oh, a breaking ball misses outside. That's going to be a walk. That was actually a heck of a bat for Chris Burns. He draws the walk. And we will now bring number 17, Bo Ransom, the first baseman, batting from the right-hand side. We've got one out, runners at first and second. Bulldogs up 1-0. The pitch from Vine is a strike call. 0 and 1 is the count. Hines had a battle with Burns. Hines comes set, ready to deliver. That ball is just up and in. One ball and one strike. Bulldogs chasing these Wildcats in today's standing. Wildcats come in with a 3 and 3. Can't, uh, record. There's a ball. That ball is going to be hit towards the right side out of play as the right field of marches gave chase but ran out of real estate. And the count will go to one ball and two strikes. Hines don't want to waste any more pitches than he has to as the runners act like they want to go. There's an inside pitch for ball two. Two and two is a count, one out. Runners at first and second. Top of the second inning, Bulldogs up 1-0. Vines ready to deliver the pitch. That pitch is going to be hit sharply towards center field. It's going to get down, and it will be a play at the plate, but no, and a run comes in. So the walk, then the single, will drive in the time run. We're all even at one now here in the second inning. So it's going to bring up the shortstop, Cornelius. Cornelius batting from the right-hand side. We still only have one out here in this second inning. Runners on the corner right now, first and third. Hines comes set, delivers. This is outside for ball one. Got runners on the corner. One out. All even at one. Hines comes set, now delivers. There's a big swing and a miss, and we're even at one ball and one strike. One and one is the count. One one is our score. A double play could end all the woes for the Bulldogs here in the top half of the second inning. Vines checking out the situation. 
I'm set. Delivers toward home. There's another ball hit straight up on the right side. Foul. One ball. Two strikes. One out. Here in this top half of the second inning. Fine. Ready to deliver the one two pitch, then steps off the rubber. Stepping out of the box now, checking things out will be Cornelius as he awaits the one two pitch coming from Vine. Vine set, now delivers. That ball is inside. Two balls, two strikes, one out, top of the second inning. Digley. Bellowing out words of encouragement to his pitcher. This senior battery. Trying to get this second out at least of the inning. The pitch off it up. There's a ball hit. Foul. Out of play again. Count will hold it two and two. One one is our score. Just in the top half of the second inning. Eyes had quick work in inning number one. Three up, three down. He's hit somewhat of a wall right now here in the top of the second. Pitch off it up. That ball fisted off and fouled back again. And the count will hold at two and two. Bulldogs last outing. They were shut out against Tumball Memorial. 6-0 at Tumball. Fines. Come set. Now delivers. There's a ball going to be hit. Four, third, five, four, three. And that will retire the board. I'm sorry, the Wildcats here in this top half of the second inning. However, there was one run off of a total of two hits. No errors and a runner left on base. We're going to the bottom of the second inning. All time at 2. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Introducing the Greatest Hits of Texas, a compilation of seatbelt excuses that made nobody famous and left thousands injured or dead. There's, I'm only running around the corner for a loaf of bread. Baby. Yeah, I'm only running around the corner for a loaf of bread. And I only buckle up on long trips. My wife left me. My dog left me. And I only buckle up on long, long trips. And everyone's favorite, I forgot. No, no, I forgot, I forgot, no. Yo, I forgot, I forgot. That's what I did. Plus, if you act now, you get four more hit excuses, including it's too uncomfortable, I'm invincible, I'm a perfect driver, and of course, how can we leave out? I'm just a passenger. Grab your tambourine and shout. I'm just a passenger on this road. Auto collisions are hits that nobody wants to listen to. Whether you're the driver or the passenger, remember to buckle up, Texas, every time, all the time. Save a life. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We're all even here in the bottom of the second inning. One run for five. Bulldogs will have leading on number 10, Cole Pulpin. He'll be followed by Skylar White and Zach Freshcorn. First pitch to be offered up will be a ball down in the dirt. One and oh is the count. Bulldogs have been putting hits together but not collectively the last few weeks. See if they can string together a few hits. That's the one oh pitch being offered up from White. It's gonna be a ball pull toward the shortstop and making the six three put up will be Cornelius. The retired pulpit is going to bring up the third baseman, White. White will come to the plate for the first time. He'll be followed by the freshman, Zach Freshcorn. The pitch being offered up from Burns will be swung on and missed for strike one. One run for each team. Bulldogs scored in the bottom half of the first. Wildcats in the top half of the second. 
The 0 1 pitch, breaking ball, falls in. Strike two. 0 oh, 2 now to White, playing in at third base for the Bulldogs on this evening. The 0 2 pitch delivered. That ball fisted, and it's going to be hit right to the second baseman. We'll take care of that. Summers will retire White for the 4 3 put out. Just want to bring up the freshman second baseman, Zach Freshcorn. Freshcorn batting from the right hand side. He'll be facing off against Burns for the first time. Burns pitching from the windup as he's ready to deliver now. There's a breaking ball. It falls in for strike one. 0 oh, 1 is the count. 1 1 is our score here in the bottom half of the second inning. Bulldogs trying to prevent from going three up, three down, as the pitch being offered up from Burns. Swung on and missed. 0-2 oh, now to Fresh Coin. Fresh Coin on the defensive side now of his approach. It's ready to take on the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a miss. And Fresh Coin go down swinging. At the Bulldogs, no runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base. We've completed two innings of work. We're all tied as we go to the top of the third inning. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. Hi, this is John Bon Jovi asking you to go to serve.gov to get involved in something you believe in. I'm a big believer in the power of we. We can tackle the tough challenges we face and build community through service and volunteering. The reality is, we're all in this together. It's time for you to raise your hand and make a difference. United we stand. United we serve. How will you raise your hand when they call your name? Are you with me? We weren't born to fly. Go to serve.gov for more information about how to volunteer in your community. This message is brought to you by United We Serve and the Corporation for National and Community Service. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We start off this top half of the third inning. We're all tied at one run each here from Walla High School. Dr. Mike Prince here with you on the play-by-play coverage for Walla Bulldogs. As now we get here to the Top half of the third, Landon Durden, third baseman, will be batting for the first time against Mr. Vine. As Vine's ready to deliver his pitch to him, will be a ball inside. One ball, no strike. Nobody out, just getting started here in the top half of the third inning. Vine steps back. Now we're on to the rubber, ready to deliver, pitching from the windup. Comes, delivers. That's a ball, fisted, foul. And our count will go one ball and one strike. One and one is the count. The one, one delivery, that ball is going to be hit deep for shortstop and that is going to end up being a base hit for the number nine hitter, Durden. Durden gets on base. We're back to the top of the lineup. Center fielder, Mr. Austin Paskey. Paskey rounded to shortstop his first at bat. Finds. Delivers. There's a ball popped up toward the left side, and it's going to go out of play to strike one. 0-1 shall be the count. Fine stepping back to assess the situation. I'm set now, put on the rubber, ready to deliver the 0-1 pitch to Paskey. Fines come set. Look, 
expires as the ball hit, and that will go foul as well toward the left side. And it is 0 and 2. 0 and 2 is a count. Runner is at first base. Fines. Try to see if he can roll one over right about now. I'm set. Checks the runner. Delivers. Oh, good pitch, but this is outside. That's a good pitch to throw with one with two strikes. See if that batter has any type of discipline. He held off that time, Dick Paskey. Durden is at first base, and that's going to be a ball hit. Foul toward the right side, and the count will hold. At one ball and two strikes. The big boys got started this weekend. The Cardinals and the Cubs faced off in a thriller. Cardinals went in in the bottom half of the ninth inning of that one, four to three. As the pitch offered up, that was a ball hit well toward left field, and it's going to be fair. And it will be another hit for the Wildcats, back-to-back singles. As JoJo Matthews will now come to the plate. Matthews flying out to center field his first at bat. So Matthews coming in, batting from the left-hand side with runners at first and second, nobody out. He might be laying one down right now. We don't know just yet. Now he's squaring around. The bunt is going to be laid down, foul toward third base side, and the count will go to 0-1. Now you got to see how you want to play this. You have White at third base. He will more than likely hold back, so that means Vines, who's the pitcher, Normally plays shortstop, so he has a good glove. He's going to have to cover the third base side, and Guy will have to cover the first base side. See if the bunt will still be on for the Wildcats. Vines comes set. The bunt is on. That one is laid down, and Vines will cover it, and he will go 1-3 or 1-4 on the sacrifice to get that out. Everybody's going to advance an additional 90 feet. So you have runners at second and third as the right fielder, Jake Garrison, will come to the plate now. Fines does have one out in this situation. That is a big swing and a miss for strike one. To Garrison finds quickly out in front. 1-1 one, one is our score, top half of the third inning. As the officials discuss the matter with Mr. Vine, it's another ball. Ready to go back to work. 0-1 is the count. 1-1 one, one is our score. Runners at second and third for the Wildcat. The pitch off it up. Oh, and it goes inside. It looked like it may have hit the batter, but it's inside. One ball and one strike. One and one is the count. One one is a score. Runners at second and third with one out here in the top of the third inning. Bulldog baseball live on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Lines. Stepping off the rubber, feeling a little bit uncomfortable with that. He gets ready to continue on. We'll check in with Digley. Ready to come to the plate. Come set, kicks, fires. That's the ball down in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, Digley, to prevent that one from going any further. So Jace Garrison now has a one ball, two strike count. I'm sorry, two ball, one strike count. Hines now in what will appear to be a hitter situation if you Garrison. The two one pitch. That ball is fouled back. The count will draw even at two balls and two strikes. Two and two is the count. Two runners on the bases. Second and third base with one out. All tied at one run each. 
signs coming set now. Getting the sign from Geigley. He agrees to that pitch. The pitch is downstairs. Now we got a full count. Full count to Garrison on deck will be Hollop, the designated hitter. So Vine definitely want to get this pitch over, but don't want to groove it and make it too fat. The payoff pitch in route, that ball's foul back. And there have been a lot of foul tips battling on these Wildcats against Vines on this evening. So the count will hold at three and two. Fisher gets a couple of balls from the dugouts. Dumps them in his bag, and we're ready to reconvene. So now, taking some dry cuts outside is Garrison. He steps back into the box, and we're ready to go back to work. Vines, come set. The high kick, there's another foul tip. Fouled out of play. And our count holds it, three balls, two strikes, one out with runners at second and third base. Bulldogs won. The Wildcats won. Bynes takes a deep breath. Thumb set. The payoff pitch, that's a ball fouled off again. Unbelievable. Got a dust-to-dawn look now in the atmosphere. The night lights are on, has yet completely been covered by the night skies. Approximately about 20, 30 minutes away from that happening. Meanwhile, Vine's trying to work this situation out. The payoff pitch, that one's fouled back. And the drama will continue. Three balls, two strikes, one out. Here at the top of the third inning, all even. And one run each. Vine's. I'm set. The payoff pitch again. That ball is hit straight up toward left field. Fisher will make the grab. The tag at the plate, and everybody's going to advance. But that will be a sacrifice fly for Garrison. So sack seven, and that will bring in Another run for the Wildcats and advancing to third will be Paskey. But now it's going to bring up the designated hitter, Blake Hollop. Hollop was a strikeout victim back in the first inning, or should I say the second inning. As a matter of fact, he's been the only strikeout victim. So runners at third base. Two runs have come across for the Wildcats. It's off of the, I'm sorry, one run has come across, two total, as Guidley blocks that one in the dirt. 0-1 oh, is the count. 1-0 oh, is the count. Fine pitching from the windup. Ready to go to work with the 1-0 pitch. Delivery, that one is fouled straight back. One ball, two strikes. One run has come across for the Wildcats in this inning. So far, they have collected two hits. Fines delivers. There's a foul tip. And another strike will be called. One and two. Hines have to throw a lot of extra pitches with these battles and foul offs by the Willis Wildcats. He comes set, now ready to deliver. Kicks, fires, breaking ball, misses. Godney tried to hold that frame there, give Old Blue a long look. He says, Not today. So the 2 2 count coming from Vine to Hollow. There's a swing and a miss, and for the second time, Olive goes down swinging. So the Bulldogs 
give up one run off of two hits, no errors, two runners left on base. We are going to the bottom of the third inning. Bulldogs trail by the score of two to one. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Do you see that doggy in the shelter? Hi, I'm Buddy, the adorable puppy you adopted from the Humane Society. Meow. I'm Mr. a fluffy kitty, just waiting for someone to love me. When you adopt a pet, we hope your new furry friend will become a cherished member of your family. And as Buddy and Whiskers will tell you, the key to success is following the rules to love by. Yes, that's right. She's giving me food, water, and exercise every day. To stay healthy, I need the same kind of things you need. Talk to me. I like hearing your voice. You're my best friend. Please don't stay mad at me or lock me up as punishment. Remember, I'm probably going to live 10 to 15 years. So take care of me when I get old. One day you'll need someone to take care of you, too. A message from the Montgomery County Humane Society. Visit www.mchumane.org for the complete rules to love by. You'll be your best friend for life. And welcome back to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom half of the third inning, Bulldogs trailing by the score of two to one. Back to the top of the lineup for the Bulldogs. Brandon Levy will be leading off. He singled and scored the only Bulldog run here in the bottom half of the first inning. He'll face off against Burns for the second time. Burns comes set, fires, first pitch. is a strike call. One one is the count. Burns, ready to go back to work. Davy steps back into the box. The 0-1 delivery, the kick. Outside. One ball and one strike. One and one is the count. Two to one is a score. Bulldogs trailing at the moment. They're going to try to rectify that. There's going to be a ball tap foul, and the count will go to one and two. One and two, off it up to Davy. Davy playing shortstop. This evening, Norman plays at third base. But with Vines pitching, he slides over two feet to his left. Pitch, that ball poke, and it's going to be hit toward short for the 6-3. And I caught Levy reaching out on that one. So we'll bring up Corbin Vine. Vine got a single and left stranded at second base back in the first inning. To come in to try to help his calls. Got one out here in the top bottom of the third inning. Bulldogs trailing two to one. Pitch that ball is hit toward the left center, and it's going in the gap. Going for two, could go for three, and the play will not be in time. What a shot by Vines with the triple. Hustling all the way out the batter's box. And nice shot. A triple for Vines here in the third inning. And he helps his own calls. Now we'll bring up Bartlett. Bartlett who struck out back in the first inning. They're ready to go to work now. That first pitch will fall in for a ball. One and know is the count. There's a strike call. One ball. One strike. One out. Runner at third base. For Bartlett. Pitcher Chris Burns set with his catcher Turner. Now delivers. There's a ball hit well toward center field. That ball is caught. The tag and the score. That will be a sacrifice for Bartlett. Bynes will come in off the sack toward center field. 
and that will bring up Corey Marches, the right fielder. Marches got on by the fielder's choice. His first at bat, he will take all one. Want to know what's the count? We're all even at two. The pitch coming from the pitcher, Burns, is going to be upstairs, 2-0. and oh. Here's the count. Bynes with that one-out triple. And he was driven in by Barlett. Now we got a visitation to the mound from the skipper of the Wildcats, Mr. Brad Props. Props discussing the situation with Burns. Long discussion. Finally, Pat's him so you can handle it, kid. Let's go back and get what we get. 2-0 and is the count. As the Bulldogs have tied it up here with two outs the bottom half of the third inning. Arches looking for something he can drive off of this one. That one's going to miss. Three balls and no strikes. Take should definitely be on all the way for this one. And a ball. And that's going to be a walk off it up to Mr. Marches. We want to bring up the catcher, catcher, Wes Gigley. Gigley grounded to third. His last at bat. Gigley will come in. He's been a hot bat of late. A little conversation from the second baseman, Summers, to discuss and encourage his pitcher, Chris Burns. Burns comes set. Ball is outside to Gagri, 1 0. 1 0 is the count. 2 2 is our score here in the bottom of the third inning. Bulldogs and the Wildcat locked up in district battle. The pitch, there's a ball. Pulled. And it's going to be an out handled by the right fielder. I said pull, but swung on what I should have said. Nonetheless, that's going to retire Guidley here in the bottom half of the third inning. Bulldogs get one run off of one hit, no errors, and one runner left on base. We have completed three. We're all tied at two. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Each year, millions of people fall for dangerous fad diets and bogus weight loss products. Here's how to separate facts from fad. This is registered dietitian Melissa Joy Dobbins for the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics with your Eating Right Minute. Fad diets give lots of promises and few results. Some are even dangerous. Remember these warning signs. A guarantee of rapid weight loss is a red flag. For long-term success, aim to lose about one pound per week. Never follow a diet that bans an entire food group or one that allows you to only eat from one group. Finally, there is no proof that eating specific foods at certain times of the day will help with weight loss. To create an eating plan just for you, see a registered dietitian and visit www.eatright.org. Encouraging you to eat right, I'm registered dietitian Melissa Joy Dobbins with the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We get started for this top half of the fourth inning. We're all tied. Runs each. Wildcats got two runs, four hits, and they have left three runners on the base pads. Bulldogs have gotten two runs off a total of three hits, and they've left three runners on the base pad. Was going to bring up Trevor Summers, the second baseman. He doubled and scored back in this second inning. He'll face off against Vine and lead off this top half of the fourth. 
fine pitching from the wind up. Deliver. There's a ball hit toward the left side. And that's going to get down in the corner. And that's another double for Mr. Summers. Back to back doubles for Summers. And it's going to bring up Chris Burns, the pitcher. Now, Chris Burns had a very interesting bat his last at bat. He fouled off and fought off a lot of pitches and eventually worked the walk. Which is kind of the wearing down of Vines back in any number two. Pitch off it up. That one is fisted off. And it's going to be in the air and making the grab on the infield. Will be the third baseman, White, for out number one. So able to retire White with one pitch. I mean, Will Burns with one pitch was White. It's going to be up now. Bo Grantham. Grantham singled his last at bat. As Vines rolls one in for strike one. Oh, and one is the count. 2-2 two, two is our score here in the top of the fourth inning. Vines comes set, delivers toward Guybley. That's one in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher. One ball, one strike. One and one is the count. A leadoff double. Summers, who's at second base. If they can leave him stranded out there. Vines checks on Summer at second. Now the livers toward the plate. There's the ball hit sharply up the middle at shortstop. And Levy able to handle that with the 6-3. Got a little help from his first baseman, Marches, on the clean scoop. The runner does not advance, and it's going to be two outs as it's going to bring up Christian Cornelius. To a 5 4 3 is last at bat. Double play for those who might not be aware with that. Pitch coming up. Strike call. 4 and 1 is the count. Two outs. Top of the four. Vines rolling right along. Vines come set. Now checks, kicks, fires. That's a ball. One ball, one strike, two outs. Here in this fourth inning. Fines, come set, delivers. The ball is going to be hit. And uh, out in the left field, Fisher handles that. That retires. Wildcats in the fourth inning. Wildcats get no runs off of one hit, no errors, and a runner left on base. We are going to the bottom of the fourth. We're all tied at two. Give us into the Open Mic Broadcast Network. HIV is a virus that causes AIDS. Without treatment, it can lead to illness and early death. About 1.1 million people are living with HIV in the United States. One out of every four new HIV infections is among youth ages 13 to 24. Gay, bisexual, and African-American youth are most at risk. Most young people with HIV aren't even aware they're infected and can unknowingly pass the virus on to others. Risk factors for youth include having sex, multiple sex partners, sex without a condom, sex with older partners who are more likely to be infected, and injecting drugs. Alcohol and drug use can lead to risky behavior. Young people need to know the facts about HIV, understand their risks, and youth at risk need to be tested. Parents, schools, and community-based programs can help prevent HIV among youth. To learn more, visit www.cdc.gov slash vital signs. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Bottom half of the fourth inning as Curtis Fisher leads off spoken one foul, strike one. All tied at two. Left fielder Curtis Fisher leading off for the Bulldogs in the bottom of the fourth. The pitch is going to be downstairs. One and one is the count. Fisher, a big, strong kid, only a sophomore. He will take all. 
He wouldn't want his account. Bishop ready to receive from Burns now. As Burns comes set, kicks, fire. That's inside. Three and one to Fisher. Fisher right now, if it's going to be anything to drive, this is going to be it right here. See how Burns wants to attack him. There's a shot. Hit toward the shortstop, and that's going to retire Mr. Fisher. There goes 6-3, knocking that down with ease. But the shortstop, Mr. Cornelius, is going to bring up now Cole Pope in the center fielder. He grounded out to shortstop. His last at bat. Burns ready to go to work, pitching from the windup. First pitch off it up. That's ball one. Want to know the count? 2-2 two, two is our score here in the bottom half of the fourth inning. That's the ball downstairs, and it's quickly 2-0. and oh. On deck for the Bulldogs will be White. Right now, Burns 2-0 delivery. Off it up. That was a big swing and a miss by Fulpin. It's 2-1. and one. Two and one to count. Burns ready to go to work. There's a ball hit foul toward the right side, and it will get out of play. And our count will draw even. At two and two, one out here in the bottom of the fourth inning. We're all tied at two. The two-two pitch off it up is upstairs. Got us a full count now. Three balls, two strikes, one out in the bottom of the fourth. The payoff pitch going to be fouled off. And we'll stay alive. Coming back into the box will be bullpen. Ready to go off against Burns. The payoff pitch. Swung on and missed. And the bullpen goes now swinging. It's going to be two outs here in the fourth inning. Well, Skylar White will now come to the plate for the Bulldogs. He grounded out the second, his first at bat. As he receives the pitch from Burns, that's a strike call. 0-1 is the count to White. Burns comes set. There's a swing and a foul tip. That caught the inner thigh of Turner, he went down with a madness. And he says, I go through all of this and I don't get the hit. <laughs> but he is doing a good job behind the plate. He walks around a little bit, talks to himself. Whatever you do, kid, don't rub it. Oh, and two is the count now. The white. Two outs in the bottom of the fourth. Pitch from Burns. Outside, ball one, and another good job of handling that ball and behind the plate was Turner. Tough little kid. One and two is the count. Burns gets ready for the one-two delivery. There's a swing and a miss. Down goes White. Two strikeouts in the inning for Chris Burns. No runs, no hits, no errors, and no runners left on base. We've completed four. We're all tied at two. You listen to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Heart disease is the number one killer of men and women in America. But did you know that just 30 minutes a day of physical activity can improve your health and decrease your risk of heart disease? 
an easy way to work physical activity into your regular routine is to start walking. For every hour of regular vigorous exercise, you gain two hours of life expectancy. So start walking for yourself and for your heart. Start walking with your family. You'll feel better. Start walking with your friends. You'll live longer. Start walking in your community. You'll lead happier and healthier lives. Start walking. Start something. Join the movement today. For more information on the American Heart Association START program, visit startwalkingnow.org. And start walking. Start something. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to the open mic broadcast of the voice of student athletics. Now we get ready for this top half of the fifth inning. Have Landon Durden leading off. He singled and scored. He'll face off against Mr. Vine here in the fifth inning. Pitch off it up. Swung going, hit toward the left side. And that's going to be a leadoff single for the Wildcats. Durden, his second single of the evening. Now we're back to the top of the order. Austin Paskey will now be batting. Paskey is one for two. He's grounded out to short and got a single. to face Vine for the third time. Pitch off it up. Breaking ball falls in for strike one. 0-1 oh, is the count. 2-2 two, two is our score at top of the fifth inning. Bulldogs and the Wildcats doing battle in District 5A. Region 3 action. Hines coming set. Now delivers as the ball gets away from the catcher and the runner will advance. It's going to be a pass ball by the catcher, so it will allow the runner to go an additional 90 feet. Now you got a runner at second base. Nobody out here in the fifth inning. Fines comes set. Now delivers. That ball misses outside. Two and one. Two and one's the count. Two, two is our score. Top of the fifth inning. Nobody out. Runner at second base. Just advanced on a pass ball. Fine now comes set. Checks. Delivers home. Bunt showed and is laid down. A beauty it is. It's going to be fielded by Vine. Vine will get that ball over to a fresh coin for the 1 4 sacrifice. Good job of laying that one down. Uh, it's Paskey. Runner will advance to third base off the butt. Jojo Matthew will now be. The batter, Matthew, is 0 for 1. He got a sacrifice, but he swings, hit that one toward the left side, and it's going to be foul. Strike 1. Matthews, the left-handed batter, facing the right-handed thrower, Corbin Vine. And to go back to work is Vine, the pitch. Down in the dirt, good stop by the catcher, Geigley. One ball, one strike. One out. I pitching from the windup with the runner at third base. Come set, delivers. There's a ball on hit toward the corner. And that is going to... Be a ground out. Runner will not try to advance. Because that will be Mr. Levy handle that one at shortstop. I'm going to bring up Garrison right now. Garrison come to the plate. He struck out twice. 
Uh, his first pitch to him was a ball. 1-0 and is the count with two outs, all tied at two. Fines, coming set, ready to deliver, kicks, fires. That's outside. 2-0. and Who would know is the count? Hines, ready to deliver the 2 0 pitch. That one's upstairs. Three balls and no strikes. Hines has thrown a lot of pitches. They've battled off a lot of pitches on Hines this evening, so he may be wearing down as that is four balls in a row offered up to Garrison. So now, we got runners on the corner, and the designated hitter, Pollock, will come to the plate. Pollock will come up, two outs, runners on the corner. Fine, snaps over the first base, and everybody's back in time. Now, Fine got the likely victim he wants up here now in Hollop. If there's a breaking ball, that one misses. Fine wanted that one. Want to know what's the count? Hollop has been a strikeout victim twice against Fine. 1-0 1-0 pitch. There's an all-speed pitch. That ball is hit for the right fielder and marches. Was not able to grab that. Marches was not able to grab that ball. It looked like he made the grab. That's going to go down as an RBI single. And a run scored for the Wildcats. Now you got runners at first and second. Run has come in. 3 2, Wildcats on top here in the fifth inning. Now, Wildcats will send up to the plate. Trevor Summers. Pitch off it to Summers. is a strike call. One ball, one strike to Summers. 3 2 is our score. Wildcat busted up another run here in the fifth inning. Pitch off it up. That ball is hit sharply toward the left side, diving, but no one able to get a good dive attempt by White at third. Ricocheted that ball, and that's going to be another base hit. And bases are loaded. And it might be time to come and talk to old Corbin and see how he's feeling, see what's going on. Meanwhile, going to have bases loaded. For the pitcher, Chris Burns. Burns has walked, and he popped out to third base. He's 0 for 1. Fines working now. Pitches, and there's a strike call. And he quickly gets ahead, 0 and 1. This by four might be the last time we see old Corbin out here on the mound. Probably do a little defensive switching here, see how they fare out here. There's a big swing and a miss. Fines up. 0-2. Oh, this has had not been the problem. Two strikes has not been the issue for Vines tonight. It's getting that third strike. Wildcats have done a decent, great job, in fact, of fighting off two pitch strikes. And there's a swing and a miss. And just as I give them props, Vines gets the strikeout. So the Wildcats end up with one run off a total of three hits. No errors, and one runner left on. We are going to the bottom of the fifth. Wildcats three, Bulldogs two. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. 
What are your status updates say? You're learning a new language? Going all organic? Instead of typing your feelings, what if you could put them into action? By creating a network to help keep kids off the streets in a country like Armenia or in Honduras, bringing IT into the classroom or on a farm in Tanzania, helping stem the world's food crisis by creating a sustainable agricultural program. What if every ounce of your being helped update the status of a person and in turn they did the same for you? Could this be enough social interaction? Or is this only the beginning of something larger. Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. Get interactive at peacecorps.gov slash game. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we get ready to go to this bottom half of the fifth inning. Bulldogs trailing by the score of three to two. Fresh Corn will be leading off. There's a ball hit toward the left side. And Fresh Coin leads off with a single, just what the doctor ordered. Fresh Coin with the leadoff single. Here in the top, bottom half of the fifth inning is going to bring up Randon Levy. Levy is one for two. Got a single and grounded out to shortstop. He'll come to the plate now with Fresh Coin at first base. Burns still the starter for the Bulldog, I mean for the Wildcats, as now he'll have a discussion coming on with Turner. I want to remind you that you can follow us on Twitter at OBN underscore radio, also known as Radio Guy. Website is OBNradio.com. And don't forget, Wednesdays from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. is the Mike Prince Show live, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. You can go to OBNradio.com or ktorradio.com as we now have a runner to come in for fresh corn as Redding Bryce Redding will be the runner for fresh corn so Redding being the runner top of the order Lavy one for two on the evening facing off against Burns who has a 3-2 lead for the Wildcats. Checking the runner. Now a bunch being showed, poked out, and hung out to dry is going to be... Wow, you're talking about a, a, a break from the baseball gods. Rice was hung out to dry on the bunt attempt that was missed for strike one in the throw which beat him, but a misapplied tag. And we got a runner at second base. Go figure that one out. Actually, he'll be credited for the stolen base in the books. The runner at second base, nobody out. Levy, one for two on the evening. Pitch in route. I swung on and pulled out back out of play. 0-2 is the count. Nobody out, bottom half of the fifth inning. Bulldogs trailing 3-2. to two. Bulldogs will be taking on Magnolia this Friday here at Waller. The pitch offered up. There's a ball pulled toward the left side. And it's going to be a base hit. Well, no, that's actually going to be a foul, a long foul. Looked like it was a base hit. He got us down in an angle here and was... Going to hold it 0-2 to Levy. 0-2 is the count. Runner at second base is Redding, who's running for fresh corn. 
ready to go back to work will be the starter, Chris Burns. Baby steps out of the box to collect himself. Now they're ready to go back to work. Burns checking Redding at second. The pitch off it up. That ball is going to be hit toward the left side. And it's going to be another foul ball. I'm sorry, base hit. I said foul ball, base hit. Runners will not advance. So, want to be runners at first and second. As Fines, who shows bunt. And a snap throw back to the pitcher. Nobody hurt. That was a strike called on the bunt attempt. Oh, and one is the count. Corbin Vines trying to help his cause. Join Bunt again. He lays that one down. Foul down third base line. So they call that one a ball. They say he did not go around. So that was one ball and one strike. First pitch looked like he indicated it was a strike. So it's one and one to count to Mr. Corbin Vine. Burns ready to deliver the one one count. The pitcher now has runners at first and second. The pitch, another bunt laid down in foul territory on right side this time. And the count will go to one and two to the Bulldog pitcher slash shortstop. One and two is the count. Three, two is our score. Bottom of the fifth inning, Bulldogs trailing the Willis Wildcats. Chris Burns, the pitcher. I'm set. Now delivers. That ball poke, and that is going to be a grab at right field. Wow. Right fielder is making a fantastic play. Looked like it was going to fall down. Garrison makes that grab in right field. And that's going to retire signs. I want to bring up Bartlett now. Bartlett got a sacrifice fly and struck out. There'll come a chance now to tie this contest up. But pitch off it up to Bartlett is a ball outside. One and oh is the count. 3-2 is our score. Bulldogs trailing the Wildcats. Bottom of the fifth inning. Chris Burns has been the starting pitcher for the Willis Wildcats, and he has gone the distance thus far. 1-0 pitch to be offered up. It's a strike on the outside corner. 1-1 one and one is the count to Bartlett. Bartlett steps outside the box has a slight conversation with himself, ready to go back to work. One and one is the count. The pitch off it up. That ball is swung on, and a little squibbler towards second base. It's going to be out for the 4-3. Runner will advance to third base. So 4-3 will go, and the runner will go to third. As the runner for Fresh Corn is ready, as marches will now come to the play, marches walked and reached on a fielder's choice. Runners at second and third now. Marches hits that ball toward the shortstop. 
And a great job by the shortstop Cornelius to retire. The runner, I mean the batter, did bring in the run. Two outs here. As the Bulldogs do get the run, tied up, Gagley will come to the plate. First pitch offered up to Gagley will be a ball. I want to know what's the count. Pitch coming. That ball is hit toward right field, but it is going to be handled to retire the Bulldogs. However, the Bulldogs have tied this contest back up. Here in the third, I mean, fifth inning, you get one run off a total of two hits, no errors. And a runner left on. We're going to the top of the six. We're all tied at three. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. Larry's Automotive is celebrating 15 years of automotive service you can trust. Located on FM 1488 in the Field Store community of Waller County, Larry's Automotive has earned dedicated customers by building a legacy of service. We invite you to go online at larrysautomotive.net and see what their customers are saying about them. Call 936-931-5566 and talk to the friendly folks at Larry's Automotive about the repair and service needs for your family fleet of vehicles. Oh, and be sure to ask about their in-house financing plans and layaway programs. You know, they back every repair with a 24-month, 24,000-mile warranty on parts and labor. So give them a call at 936-931-5566. There's only one way to say it. Larry's Automotive treats you like family. Call them at 936-931-5566 and find satisfaction worth the drive. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we now head to the Top of the sixth inning, Bulldogs and the Wildcats doing battle here as Plata will now come in relief for Corbin Vine. Corbin Vine goes five innings, and now Jared Plata, number seven, come in for the Bulldogs. On the mound. It appears that we do have the switching up. Fine will now go to shortstop. Lazy will be at third. And I believe, as that fresh coin has re entered, I'm not sure. We'll figure that part out. Now we have number 17, Grantham, to lead off this sixth inning, facing against Plot. First pitch off of front Plata, swung on and missed. Strike one. Plata, platoon second baseman, catch a pitcher. It does a little catching. Comes in pitching from the windup. The pitch off it up. There's another foul tip, and it's 0-2. The Wildcats have had a total of seven hits in this contest. It's Plata's 0-2 pitch in route, swung on, halfway swung at, and it will go out of play in the foul territory on the right side. The count will hold it 0-2. Bulldogs will be in action on Friday night against the Magnolia Bulldogs right here at the baseball complex of Walla High School. Arthur ready with the 0-2 delivery. Pitching from the windup, there's a ball going to be hit for 
the right side and want to be base hit to the right center, like there may have been a chance at the beginning. Christian Cornelius will now come to the plate. 0 for 2-1 today. Fresh coin is still in at second. Blanta ready to go now, pitching from the stretch. Blanta was showed that ball is inside, 1-0. and 1-0 oh. is the count. 3-3 three, three is our score here in this top half of the sixth inning. Jared Potter coming in for Vines, who went five innings. There's a ball upstairs, two and oh. Two and oh is the count. Potter. Ready to go back to work. The pitch. Bunt pushed forward. Third base, but foul. Two balls, one strike. Nobody out here in the top of the sixth inning. Bulldogs have tied this contest up in the bottom half of the fifth inning at three. Changing pitches and Fata coming in to see if he can nail it down. There's another bunch show that that's going to be filled by Plata, who throws it to second for the one four, one, yeah, one four. That was fresh corn at first, second base. Fielder's choice, that will go one four. And that's going to be a fielder's choice. As we now have... Durden come up. Durden has been two for two on the evening. Pitch off it up. That ball is going to be hit for second baseman Freshcorn, who makes the field for the 4 3 put out. Runner will advance second base. Now, bring up. Mr. Austin Askey. Askey got a sacrifice, but this last at bat. Two outs here in the sixth inning. Pitch off it up. Dry. Oh, it hits the batter. Hits the batter. That's going to be a free pass for Paskey. Paskey will advance off the hit by pitch. Bring up JoJo Matthews now. Grounded out to shortstop. That ball hit up the middle. And a great job for the 6 4 force out. We retire. The, uh, the actual 1 6 4. Because of the touch by Plata at the plate to retire the Wildcats here in the sixth inning. There were no runs and no hit. Two runners, no errors, two runners left on. Going to the bottom of the sixth, we're all tied at three. Hi, this is Terry Lucas White, head women's volleyball coach at the Alabama State University. I'm calling to inform you that volleyball kickoff date for all SWAT teams are August 25th. We also will have our first SWAT roundup that will be hosted uh, by Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas on September 22nd through the 24th. Then it will be followed up with the second roundup of the SWAC in Montgomery, Alabama on October 20th through the 22nd on the campus of Alabama State University. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. Bye-bye. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we head 
came out to the bottom half of the sixth inning. This match has begun as the Wildcats were sent to the mound a new pitcher. Number nine, Matthew Maddox Jr. Maddox Jr. will come to pitch here in the bottom of the sixth inning. We are all tied at three apiece. Bulldogs to have come up Fisher, Paul Penn, and White here in the bottom half of the sixth inning. So Fisher lead off here in the bottom half of the sixth inning for the Bulldogs, all even at three. Facing off against the Maddox. And there's a big swing and a miss for Fisher. 0-1 is the count. Fastball sounds a little heavy coming from Maddox. In most indications, it hits the mid like that. It's what we call a flat pitch. That ball is upstairs, ball one. And simply a flat pitch means that that ball really has not a lot of movement, just a heavy fastball. And any good hitter likes to see that heavy fastball pitch. One one pitch is going to be a ball, two balls, and one strike. Wind picking up as it customary blows here from Waller Stadium from left to right, going out toward right field in a little helicopter spin approach. There's the ball fouled back out of play. The count will fall to two and two. Two and two is the count as Fisher, the left fielder for the Bulldogs, trying to get things started here in this bottom half of the sixth inning, all tied at three, the 2-2 pitch. And bailing out on the curveball and got called out looking as Fisher's foot was stepping toward, we call stepping in the bucket. And as he was stepping away, that ball broke from him, and that was a call strike for out number one, strikeout number two. Three. I'm sorry, strike out, strike number three, out number one. It's going to bring a pull pin right now as he will foul his first pitch back, strike one. Pull pin struck out his last at bat and grounded to a shortstop. He's 0 for 2. Maddox ready to go to work now. There's a ball tap foul. And it is quickly 0-2 to the Bulldogs center fielder. 3-3 is our score in the bottom half of the sixth inning. Dr. Prince here with you on Bulldog Baseball Coverage on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Now our go to delivery is upstairs, ball one. One and two is the count with one out. Maddox pitching from the wind up, ready to go back to work. That's a bird ball, breaking ball in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher, Turner. Count now two balls, two strikes. Maddox ready to go. The pitch, that ball swung on and fouled territory toward the right side, and it will be out of play. Now we'll hold it two balls and two strikes with one out, bottom of the sixth inning. We are all tied at three. Maddox coming in for relief to pitch. There's a swing and a miss. Pulpin goes down. The catcher will not be able to retrieve ball. So Pulpin will be on base, even though he struck out. The catcher was not able to retrieve the ball. So it's going to bring in Plata, who will be batting for White here in the sixth inning. Plata takes strike one. 
So Pulpen reaches on first base even though he struck out. The ball got away from the catcher. He was able to advance to first base safely. Hit from Maddox. Bunt being attempted by Plata, but it's going to be missed for strike two. 0-2 oh, is the count now to the reliever, Jared Plata, at first base. It's cool, and he does have pretty decent speed. See what happens here on this approach. One out here in the sixth inning. Pitch outside, ball one. One ball, two strikes. On deck. Be fresh coin. Pitch now offered up. Coming from Maddox. Delivers. That's down in the dirt. Another good stop by the catcher, Turner. We got an even count now. Two balls, two strikes with one out here in the bottom of the sixth inning. They've been trying to pitch the Bulldogs away as Maddox as he's come in for his relief work. Here in the sixth inning, both starting pitchers going five innings of work as the 2-2 pitch goes. That ball is going to be swung on. Did they say he swung? And that's going to be a strikeout for Plata. Plata goes down swinging. That's going to be out number two for the Bulldogs. This is going to bring up the freshman. Fresh Coin. Fresh Coin got a single and scored back in the fourth inning, fifth inning, I should say. As he'll come, ready to face off against Maddox. Maddox checks. There's a swing and a miss. Strike one. Oh, and one is the count. Fresh coin. Awaiting the pitch from Maddox. Drum set. There's a ball fisted toward the right side. And it's going to be handled by the right fielder, Garrison, to retire the Bulldogs in the sixth inning. There were no runs off of no hits, no errors. And no runners left on the base pass. We are going to the top of the seventh inning. We're all even three to three. You're listening to Bulldogs Baseball on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. The Open Mic Broadcast Network is a community based radio station that was established in 2002. We have been dedicated to local, regional, and community programming with coverage for high school, collegiate sports, ministries, and information. Our goal is to provide quality, productive, and positive programming that reflects the community that we serve. Visit our website, ktorradio.com and obnradio.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We do thank you for joining us on this evening's broadcast of Bulldogs Baseball. We got us a point burner going right now. It's 3-3 as we go into the top half of the seventh inning. Bulldogs working on these Wildcats. Corbin Vine. Ended up going a total of five innings. Gave up a total three runs off of eight hits. And he had a total three strikeouts. Now Plata is in relief. He'll be facing off against Garrison here in the seventh inning because he quickly falls behind Garrison two and oh. Ace Garrison, the right fielder for the Wildcats. 
There's a strike in by Plata. Two and one is the count. Three three is our score. Top half of the seventh inning. Plata pitch. That ball is going to be swung on and pulled foul to draw us even. Two balls, two strikes. Nobody out here in the top half of the seventh inning. Bulldog baseball action on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Hard to believe we've been doing this as long as we've been doing it. 2002 when we first began this journey. A pitch coming from Plata. That ball is going to be hit toward right center field. And making the grab will be the right field of marches. Marches covering some territory to retire one right fielder to another. Going to bring up Mr. Blake Hollop, the designated hitter. He struck out twice and got a single. He's one for three on the evening. He'll face Plata for the first time. Plata pitching from the windup. The pitch, breaking ball, misses ball one. Want to know is the count from the senior reliever, Jared Plata. Ready to go with the 1-0 delivery. The pitch, another breaking ball, and that one falls in for strike two. One ball, two strikes, one out, top of the seventh, all tied at three. Lots in relief for Vine, who is not playing shortstop. Another slow breaker. That one misses, two and one. Lots of ready to go right back to work. Works relatively fast. The pitch, oh, he hits the batter. That one got away from Plata. As that will allow Hollop to reach base. This brings up Trevor Summers. Summers got two doubles and a single. He is three for three. Plata now will go from the stretch. See if they can roll up a 5 4 3, 6 4 3, 4 6 3, any way you can get it. There's a ball hit sharp into left field in the six hole, but it is going to go for a base hit, and that young man is four for four on the night. Two doubles and two singles. We'll now bring up the pitcher, Chris. Uh, no, Matthew Maddox. Maddox is now batting here in the seventh. Well, there is a discussion with the Bulldog infield at the mound. Maddox, who comes in relief for Chris Burns. As the meeting has been adjourned, everybody going back to their respected areas. Runners at first and second. One out here in the top of the seventh. Still a double play situation for the Bulldogs. Plata cannot be pitcher from the wind. Okay, he changed. He was going to be pitcher from the windup. That would have been a free pass for these guys. Pitch off it up. Breaking ball goes to strike one. 0 oh, and 1 is the count. One out. Lots are ready to go back to work. Gagley sets in, calls the signal. Checks the run at second. Delivers. That's downstairs. Good stop by the catcher, Gagley. One ball in one strike. One and 1 is the count. 3 3 is our score. Plata, come set, delivers. There's a big swing and a miss as that was a swing with some nasty intentions offered up that time by the reliever, Maddox. Plata, ready to go to work now with the two-strike count. That ball fisted it straight up in the air toward left field. Fisher's camped up under that. The runners will not try to advance, so that will give us two outs here in this top half of the seventh inning, and that is going to bring up Bo Ransom. 
Ransom has singled, ground out the short, and singled again. Two for three on the evening is Grants. Lata trying to work his way out of this jam here with two outs in the top of the seventh. The pitch off it up. That ball is going to hit foul out of play. 0-1 is the count. Two outs here in the top of the seventh inning. Bulldogs and the Wildcats all tied. Bulldogs with a 2-4 and four district record. Oh, that ball goes and hits the batter. That is the second hit pitch, hit by pitch batter on the day. And that's the third batter he has hit. So now we have bases loaded for the shortstop, Christian Cornelius. 3-3 three, three is our score here in the top half of the seventh inning. Jared Plata now pitching from the windup. Bases are loaded. Bulldogs only need one out. Plata's delivery. That ball is going to be popped up and back out of play for strike one. Bulldogs trying to hold off and see what they can get here. Hopefully lead to some big things in the seventh inning. There's another one fouled back, and it is quickly 0 and 2. Plata trying to finish strong here, 0 and 2 to the batter. The batter, Cornelius Plata, ready to deliver. Comes set, rocks, fires. Oh, yeah, strike three is the call. Down goes Cornelius looking, and the Bulldogs dodge a mighty bullet here in the seventh inning. There were no runs off a total of one hit, no errors, and three runners left on the base pads. We're going to the bottom half of the seventh inning where the Bulldogs are all tied with the Wildcats. Two up for the Bulldogs in this seventh inning will be the top of the lineup. You'll have Lavey, Vines, and Bartlett. Sounds like three to me. We'll tell when we come back. You're listening to Bulldogs Baseball. Brandon Lewis with West Chase Express and the Houston Summer Collegiate League to an update on the golf tournament that was canceled due to severe weather around the, the city of Houston. Uh, we're going to reschedule for May 29th, the Memorial Day weekend at Cinco Ranch Golf Course. We're really excited. We've got uh, NFL, MLB alumni coming out. We're going we're gonna to have an awesome silent auction with signed jerseys from current Astros, former Astros, and just former Major League ball players. For, for, for golfers who want to register online, they can register at hcsleague.com. Again, that's www.hcsleague.com, and the golf registration is on there. It's uh, $120 per player individually and $500 per team. We're looking forward to, uh, to a great weekend that week. And uh, just raising funds for these for these youngsters to be able to 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 show off their their talents and their craft uh, on the baseball field. Again, thank you, Dr. Prince. And we look forward to everything that you've got going on here at the station with OBN Network. Thanks and have a great day. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, the Open Mic Broadcast Network. As we go to the bottom half of the seventh inning, Brandon Levy, who's two for three on the evening, he'll be leading off this top half of the seventh inning against the Maddox. First pitch off it up. That one is going to be fisted back foul for strike one. Levy, two for three on the evening. He'll be followed by Vines, who is three for three on the evening. So the pitch now swung on and missed by Levy. 0-2 0-2 is the count. Maddox, ready to deliver the 0-2. More than likely, it's going to be something out of the zone. See if they can get Levy guessing. That's upstairs, ball one. One ball, two strikes, nobody out. Top half of the seventh inning. 
Bulldogs and the Wildcats all tied at three. The pitch, a check swing, balls in the dirt. Good stop by the catcher Turner yet again. Two balls and two strikes. Two and two is the count. Maddox battling against Levy. The 2-2 pitch in route. Outside, ball three. Levy now has worked it to a full count. Ready to go back to work now. The payoff pitch from Maddox is ball four. Levy works a leadoff walk here in this bottom half of the seventh inning. The winning run now at first base as we'll bring up Corbin Vine. Corbin Vine has singled, tripled, and singled. That ball is going to be hit and going to be a foul ball <laughs> out of play, but it was laid down foul out of play, and they'll go back to do it again. So Vine will get a chance. He's just trying to advance Lazy over to get in scoring position here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Lazy advanced. Now ready to go to work. The ball, snap throw, back to first base. And Lazy is back in time. Lazy drawing the walk to start off this bottom half of the seventh inning. All tied at three. That's back now is Maddox, and a timeout is called by Vine. He is granted permission to walk out, get things together. 0-1 is the count. 3-3 is our score. Runner at first base, bottom of the seventh inning. Maddox comes set, delivers. Part being laid down. That one to the right side. Good job. Maddox will pick that up for the 1-3 sacrifice to advance the runner. So now you want to have Cade Bartlett. Bartlett struck out in the first, sacrificed to center in the third, and grounded to second in the first, I mean in the fifth. So there's a conversation going on now with Maddox and his catcher, and now there's going to be a relief pitcher to come in for the Wildcats. We'll tell you all about about that when we return. Bulldogs and the Wildcats doing battle here in the bottom half of the seventh inning, all tied at three. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. We're taking a break from our live broadcast right now, but keep it where you got it. We'll be right back. Be sure to visit our website at obnradio.com. You can also follow us on Facebook at Open Mic Broadcast Network. And don't forget, we're on Twitter at OBN underscore radio and Instagram at OBN radio. The station designed with you in mind. The Open Mic Broadcast Network. Prairie View, Texas. Now is the perfect time for you to become a listening partner with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. At only $36 a year, your annual donation will help us continue to bring you live sporting coverage for our student athletes throughout the country. Be sure to visit our website at ovnradio.com. Become a listening partner today. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. Serving the community since 2002, the Open Mic Broadcast Network is proud to present broadcasting excellence for its local high school and collegiate sports coverage. For more information on how you can get your message heard during our live broadcast, feel free to drop us an email at omcnetwork at gmail.com. Serving the community through faith and athletics, the Open Mic Broadcast Network, the voice of student athletics. Welcome 
welcome to another live broadcast with the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Now that you found us, keep it locked where you got it. The Open Mic Broadcast Network, Prairie View, Texas. Are you looking for an affordable way to increase your business? Let the Open Mic Broadcast Network lead the way. For a customized, affordable ad campaign, call 813-8824. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we have a new pitcher on the mound, the designated hitter, Mr. Blake Pollop, has now come to the mound. Matthew Maddox ended up going one and one-third inning. He could stand to be the loser right now with the situation. He's still good taking the warm-up tosses. Here's Mr. Blake Pollop. He'll get ready to face off against Mr. Bartlett. Bartlett has an opportunity now to become the hero for the Bulldogs here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Situation is such, we got a runner at second base, but go ahead and run, Brandon Levy. He got walked and advanced on the sacrifice bunt by Carbon. Corbin Vine. So now they're allowing a lot of warm ups for this young man, Holub, as if there was an injury. And that's the only reason that it could be. It appears that Holub is getting more than enough time for warm ups. Normally, granted, anywhere between six to eight pitches to come in relief. But as many warm-up pitches as he's been able to take, kind of inquiring if they're going to say there was an injury. Coach Levy was out talking to the officiating crew, trying to find out what's going on right now. So meanwhile, we have Bartlett, who will come to the plate for the Bulldogs with one out here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Trying to figure out exactly what was going on. There were a lot of pitches offered up to a hollow, and as if there was an injury to Maddox. And it appears that Navy went out to discuss the matter to find out how many warm ups is the kid going to get. As we may mention, you get anywhere between six to eight pitches of warm up coming in for relief and in between innings. Now there's another delay as the catcher Turner is going to the bench. And he's going to be relieved. Trying to make out the number of the catcher. He got his catcher's gear covering his number with these camouflage jerseys on. And they're doing a pretty good job at hiding. So we have a relief catcher to come in. There are all kind of little cat and mouse games being played now here in the bottom of the seventh inning. But all that is academic. So Andrew Wong, number one, is now the relief catcher. So Wong is that catcher. All of is at the pitcher's mound. And the first pitch is over for strike one. Bartlett just simply got to put it in play. And the Bulldogs could wrap this one up. Levy with... Pretty good speed out at second base. Hollop checks in with Wong. The pitch off it up. In the dirt, good stop by the catcher Wong. And he goes to one ball and one strike. One and one is the count with one out here in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Relief Holcomb. Or Hollop, I should say, is in. They're doing a little old spin the rooski, and back in time is landing. And they'll hold it one ball and one strike. Hollop getting a signal from Wong. Comes set. Checks the runner at second. Now delivers. That's a strike on the inside corner. One ball, two strikes, one out, bottom half of the seventh inning 
Bulldogs all tied. Barlett at the plate right now. March is on deck. Barlett is going to have to protect that plate. Anything close, fight it off until you get your pitch. The one-two pitch coming. That ball is hit toward the left side. Gets through. They're going to have a play at the plate, and not in time. Levy scores. Bartlett comes through, and the Bulldogs win. The single to left field with a one-two strike to Bartlett. He drives it in the hole, and scoring the winning run will be Levy. So the Bulldogs get a big win on the last at bat here in the seventh inning of play. We're going to take us a quick break, and when we come back, we'll give you the final analysis. Bulldogs win four to three. Larry's Automotive is celebrating 15 years of automotive service you can trust. Located on FM 1488 in the Field Store community of Waller County, Larry's Automotive has earned dedicated customers by building a legacy of service. We invite you to go online at larrysautomotive.net and see what their customers are saying about them. Call 936-931-5566 and talk to the friendly folks at Larry's Automotive about the repair and service needs for your family fleet of vehicles. Oh, and be sure to ask about their in-house financing plans and layaway programs. You know, they pack every repair with a 24-month, 24,000-mile warranty on parts and labor. So give them a call at 936-931-5566. There's only one way to say it. Larry's Automotive treats you like family. Call them at 936-931-5566 and find satisfaction worth the drive. Hi, this is Penny Lucas White, head women's volleyball coach at the Alabama State University. I'm calling to inform you that volleyball kickoff date for all SWAT teams are August 25th. We also will have our first SWAT roundup that will be hosted uh, by Texas Southern University in Houston, Texas on September 22nd through the 24th. Then it will be followed up with the second roundup of the SWAC in Montgomery, Alabama on October 20th through the 22nd on the campus of Alabama State University. Looking forward to seeing you. Thank you. The Open Mind Broadcast Network is a community-based radio station that was established in 2002. We have been dedicated to local, regional, and community programming with coverage for high school, collegiate sports, ministries, and information. Our goal is to provide quality, productive, and positive programming that reflect the community that we serve. Visit our website, ktorradio.com and obnradio.com. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, as we have our post-game report. The Bulldogs win on their final at-bat of the seventh inning, winning by the score of four to three. The Bulldogs end up with a total of four runs off of six hits, no errors, left four runners stranded on base, while the Wildcats end up with Three runs off of nine hits, no errors, and ten runners stranded on the base. Corbin Vine went five innings. He went gave up three runs, eight hits off of three strikeouts. The winning pitcher coming in for relief was Jared Plata. Plata ended up going two innings. He will become your winning pitcher. And in those two innings of work, Plata gives up a total of no runs off of one hit and five runners were stranded on the base pass. So Plata ends up being your winner. The Bulldogs improve their district record to three and four in district play as they get ready now to take on the Magnolia Mustangs on Friday. The Wildcats Drop to three and four. Three and four. Do the Wildcats drop their district record to? The losing pitcher 
would end up being Matthew Maddock. When Maddock left, he had runner in scoring position. He went one and one-third of an inning. The starting pitcher, Chris Burns, went five innings. He gave up three runs off of five hits and four strikeouts. So the Bulldogs get a big win on this evening to improve their district record to three and four in district play. Thank you so much for joining us on this evening's broadcast of Bulldog Baseball right here at the Open Mic Broadcast Network. Remember to follow us on Twitter at OBN underscore radio. Instagram is OBN radio. You can visit our website at obnradio.com. And don't forget that we are on Facebook at Open Mic Broadcast Network. Bulldogs win by the score of 4-3 to three on their final at bat of the evening. And they go to 3-4 and four in district play. You've been listening to Bulldog baseball coverage right here on the Open Mic Broadcast Network. I'm Dr. Mike Prince. Good night to all. Be blessed. And we'll see you on the other side.